In this video, we're going to answer the question, what is Forex and how you can save money? Coming up. Hi guys, Jan here and welcome back to The Present. And today we're going to answer a question coming from a guy, or no, it's a girl, I think, Felipa Loy Loy, okay? So the question is quite long, so here we go. Sir, mangutan ako unsa ng Forex. How to save the money nga gipadasa akong anak gusto ko makatigom pero na ako'y daghan bayro nun inig abot sa kwarta. So the context of the message is number one, what's Forex, what it is, what, what it stands for, and number two is how you can save money, uh, how you can save money even if I have to pay a lot of people because of debts or something like that. Did I understand it right? Pero na ako'y kwarta daghan bayro nun. Yes. Okay? So let's Let's answer the first question. What is Forex? By the way, guys, I am not a trader in Forex. I, I have a demo account and I also attended a workshop that allows us to somehow try it, it really try it out. And the main reason why I had I attended the workshops because I want to know more about it because in the city where I'm living in, there are a lot of investment schemes that are coming out and they are claiming that they are earning money. They can return a huge like what do you call this like percentage every month because they are investing it in forex so i really want to understand more about it if it's true or not and sad to say it is possible but what they are promising is not sustainable so that's just it okay forex forex is foreign exchange right foreign exchange when you combine those two things it's forex it is also known as currency exchange. So when you buy a US dollar and then you convert it to like um, JPY, that's yen. So there's that's foreign exchange. So the currency of a specific country and then the currency of another country, when you buy it, it's like buy and sell. It's like trading kind of thing, right? And it is one of the things that we have to do when we travel. So if you notice, for example, if you're living in the Philippines and then if you want to go to Japan, you have to buy their currency, which is yen, so that you can buy things over there, okay? Even if you have the money, like even if you have a lot of thousands of pesos, right, pesos, and then when you go there and then that's the money that you're going to pay, they're not going to accept it. Why? Because it's not their currency and it has different value, okay? So it's the same thing. When people from the United States, from Australia, from China, from Japan, from Malaysia, from Indonesia, from where, whatever, wherever, when they go to the Philippines, they have to trade their currency with our currency so that every time they have a transaction here in the Philippines, they can use the money which is in peso so that they can also buy things from us, which is in the Philippines. Do, do you get this? So that's foreign exchange. That's the very, very super basic definition and explanation of what it is. In terms of if you want to trade and if you want to invest, that's a different story. Um, in fact, one, one of the things that we had to understand about Forex, and this is one of the things that I learned from the workshop, is that it is not legal or regulated here in the Philippines. Okay, So that means we, we can still invest in forex but we have to open an account outside of the philippines not in the philippines you get this um yeah so that's how banks are doing it they have an account outside so they have a transaction over there and then that's the reason why it is possible so if we do forex within the philippines it is not allowed as of this recording so it may change of obviously like a lot of things in this world can change based on the government, based on the market condition, based on crisis or whatever. But the point is, it can change. So as of this recording, it is not regulated here in the Philippines. So if someone will offer you that they're going to invest the money in Forex and they are doing it within the Philippines, that they're not going to transfer the account over there, that is not allowed, okay? Um, what we have here in the Philippines is what we call an introducing broker. Again, introducing broker. So from the word introducing broker, they are the ones who's going to introduce you to the broker outside of the Philippines. So when you want to invest, you have to transfer your money directly to the, 
to the account outside the Philippines okay do you get, th do you get this so it's not it's not like you're going to give the money to them and then they're going to invest it for you no so you have to de deposit it to the account outside of the Philippines okay so that's Forex now let's talk about how do you save money even when you have a lot of things that you have to pay for so, okay so what if you have a lot of debt so if you have a lot of debt the purpose of you saving money is for you to pay off your debt first that's the first thing you cannot think or I would say that it is very very hard for you to save money when in fact you have a lot of debt so when you have a lot of debt the first priority is for you to pay off your debt regardless of what your reason is you have to pay off your debt why because that person who lend you the money also has the responsibility to pay off somebody right or maybe that person sacrifice his money instead that he's going to use it for his own personal needs he gave it to you or he lent it to you because you needed the money and so it is your responsibility obligation and duty for you to pay off that person because you borrowed the money that means the word is borrowed it is not yours to begin with you just borrowed the money and so your mindset right now if that is your situation is not for you to save money your priority right now your most important thing and the most urgent thing is for you to pay off that person are you getting this so let's not think about saving first let's think about finding ways to pay off that person okay when you are in debt or when you have a lot of bills to pay like rent electricity water and whatever so you need to find ways to pay it off now what if your money is short so one of the things that you can do is you can find ways to increase your income right find ways to increase your income and reduce your expenses all right when the time comes that all of your debt is settled that's the time you can start prioritizing your savings okay so that when you save you have something to give to your child because that's the question um, pay off your child uh, pay off whatever it is that your child needs like tuition school uniform books pencils and whatever miscellaneous expense that you need to have so that's the thing so when you save money the first thing is for you to pay off your debt after that you're going to use the money so that you can save for your child and you can also have something for yourself get it so question of the day for you what's a good priority for you to have like is it for you to save money first or what do you call this like a pay off your debt all right let me know in the comment section and if this video added any value to you please hit the subscribe button at the same time tap the not notification bell so that every time we have a new video you will get notified